contacted by Superintendent Randy Page from Cross County Schools, who said that he has disappointing news. Um, that their new school will not be able to be opened um, immediately due to some problems with the construction and with their engineering firm. Now they had planned to um, move right into the new facility, which would house uh, pre-K through 12th grade. That's not going to happen immediately. It will eventually, but for the first few weeks of school, they're going to have to be moving the kids back to Stromsburg. Now, as he uh, told me this afternoon, that in, uh, in uh, November of 2006, that they secured a contract with Kirk and Michaels as their engineers, um, and that the water, wastewater, and the suppre uh, fire suppression system were supposed to be installed and in in 2007, but in February of this year, nothing had happened yet. So the Board of Education across county actually ended their contract with Kirk and Michael, and they went on search for another engineering company. Now they have hired Olson and Associates, who are working on it, but. Due to the delay with engineering companies, the fire suppression system is not yet installed. Therefore, they cannot have any kids occupying that building. Um, he said that it will take longer than September 8th. Now, if they would have been able um, to have the problem fixed by September 8th, they could have just delayed the beginning of school and made up the days um, later on in the year. But he said it's going to take longer than that. They have no idea how long. But until then, they're going to make do in the two buildings in Stromsburg. Um, they'll keep everyone, uh, patrons and parents, in the Cross County District posted as to when they can expect to be taking their kids to the new school. Again, this is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com.